I would like to talk a little bit about Professor Dave. I'm sure you know who this is, and you are ready to hear what I have to say. I'd like to introduce you to Russ Guillemot. I think that's how you say his name. This man posted an amazing post in a Flat Earth discussion group, and it enlightened me, and I want to tell you what he said. The world has forever been divided into two sides, Flat Earth on one side and Globecraft on the other. The exact same as witchcraft, just slightly different details. Most of the people, Globies, in their Facebook groups are just regular witches, warlocks, and wizards casting the same spells of deception and incantations of programming that they hear from TV or YouTube or hear from others of the same ilk. But there is one group within their ranks that rise above the rest. These are the magicians that conjure up the lies that give all the other regular witches, warlocks, and wizards their ammo. These are high-ranking vampires. who create and make money off the deception. Professor Dave, Fight the Flat Earth, Cyman Dave, Michael Toon. I welcome others to chime in and identify other leading Globecraft vampires. So there you go, now we know the truth about these men, if you wanna use such a generous term. Don't let them fool you anymore. All they are is very, very intelligent liars. That's all they are going on everybody on the TikTok world see I'm not trying to play no games I used to be a very big spaceman and I still technically think I am but um I just want to let you guys know that I am a flat earther and it's it breaks my heart to say this man it truly does it all started about 10 years ago when I started researching for myself the metals um it, probably even longer around a 9-11 when the twin towers collapsed it started a wormhole for me and I was going to junior high I was a, a junior high school kid and I realized something was different something was off our government uh, told us back in 1969 they sent some guys up there to take some moon rocks home drive around and play some golf or whatever take some photos right but we are having a hard time doing that today well I mean I guess we aren't because Artemis is going around it's gonna do a loop-de-loop -loop, and then in 2023 I mean 2033 or something like that and then another couple years, six years, I think they said, we'll be uh, sending man back, man and women back to colored men and women back to the moon. <laughs> so go figure. I just want to let everybody know I am a spaceman. I believe in space. I love space. I love the stars. I love the galaxies and the sun and all that stuff. But in order to believe that, we must see it. And, and, and I'm having a hard time seeing it. I'm just believing what we see. And I have never seen water curve. Therefore, um, I'm I'm on a flat plane. I'm on a flat earth and um, I know it breaks some people's hearts To hear that it sounds so crazy. You're on a flat world But um, I mean just get over it. It's there's nothing to argue about until we could see a, a, a Live image of the world spinning until we can see the galaxies and space and time until we can see actual footage of water bending and curving I mean guys face the facts a lot of times in these big sporting events like the Olympics, the Super Bowl, and in this case, the World Cup, the enemy will hide the truth in plain sight. And I want to show you what he did at the opening ceremony of this year's World Cup. And when we call you here, we welcome you into our home. So we gather here as one big tribe. Did you catch it? Earth is the tent that we all live in. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 22 says this, He is the one who holds the circle of the earth fast, and those who dwell in it are like locusts. He is the one who set up heaven like a canopy and stretched it out like a tent to be inhabited. There's no tent on a ball, guys. It doesn't work. Good morning, friends on TikTok. Still walking the dogs early in the morning. I just wanted to uh, say that uh, if you want to debunk Flat Earth, it's really simple. Just go up in one of your spaceships that you made and take a real picture of the Earth that we live on because they're all CGI. So you want to debunk the Flat Earth theory? Go up there and take a real picture of Earth. Why don't we have any?
I mean, we live on this planet. We've been living on it for supposedly hundreds of thousands of years. We've had the technology for a long time. Apparently, we went to the moon. I don't believe that either. But, uh, yeah, it's that simple. Go on up. Take a picture of the real Earth. Show that to me. I believe it then. Have a good day. Bye-bye now. Every time I do a Flat Earth video, the defenders of the globe come rolling in the comments, and man, are they angry. I won't give those people my energy, but I'm going to say the quiet part out loud in this video. There's a Flat Earth model. There's a heliocentric model. You'll notice that they're both in the shape of a globe. The absolute truth is, these are both renditions, and nobody knows exactly what it looks like, but everybody gets caught up on the shape. This is a Hebrew conception of our cosmos, as described in the Bible. You'll notice the sun, the moon, the stars are all luminaries that are within the firmament. Here's the major difference, the chambers in heaven. In order to be educated, you cannot accept anything divine. We are entitled to an answer for everything in this universe, right? So the heliocentric model requires scientists. They're going to provide you with all the answers you require. In order to provide all those answers, we're going to need some money. And a shit ton of it at that. In a world full of division, when the space programs were formed and the heliocentric model was adopted, every nation in the world agreed that you can't explore Antarctica. That's kind of odd, isn't it? Then there's these guys and the whole climate change thing. Did you know that that's the last step of the plan? So the heliocentric model, they have gatekeepers, they have money, and they have all the proof you need. But the flat earth has the only thing that the heliocentric ideology doesn't. And that's the existence of God. When I first looked into this, I thought it was stupid and I came here to prove it wrong. The reason I'm still here is because I haven't seen the evidence to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, is it possible for NASA to be faking space? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at a company that I doubt very highly you've heard of. Folks, let me go ahead and introduce you to a little company called Wonderworks LLC, or Wonderworks Incorporated. It's a full-service design and production company serving the film, theme, park, and museum industries, whose client list includes NASA, Lockheed, Martin, Skunk Works, SpaceX, uh, XPRIZE, Space Camp, Challenger Center, Spielberg, Lucas, Disney, Universal, etc. Feel free to pause the video to get a look at the, uh, at the full thing I have posted above. The thing that strikes me as interesting with this particular company is the last sentence here. It says, We are not a hobby or toy store, nor do we sell Halloween costumes. There are many excellent sources for those products, but we specialize in realism. Hmm. Now, I know what you're thinking. Of course it's understandable that we need somebody to make very realistic replicas for museums and such, and I can understand that. However, what's SpaceX and NASA's excuse for needing a full-service production team uh, dedicated to realistically faking space? So, just gonna go ahead and throw that out there. Yo, this is pretty interesting. So we got the Arctic in the middle. If you're standing there, the sun would be arcing around you if you're in antarctica it would be antarctic coming in close going away it all makes sense on a flat earth okay guys so do y'all still believe space is real and do y'all still believe in nasa's lies oh wait and what about the fact that we actually went to the moon oh i got an even better one for you what about the fact that we can take pictures of galaxies and planets millions and millions of light years away but we can't even take a picture of our own earth get into this next one right here. First, let's get into the big moon landing conspiracy theory. You know, as we all know, that was one of the biggest conspiracy theories out there, that the moon landing was fake. And, you know, there was a lot of evidence pointing to that fact, too. One of the facts is how can the American flag be waving in this picture right here if there's no air in the vacuum of space? There's another um, video that NASA had admitted that they can't go back to the moon because they don't have that technology again. Like what? And speaking of Mars, there's a lot of people that believe that the photos that the Land Rover is taking is actually pictures of our planet Earth somewhere in the desert. Take a look at this photo right here. All right, so this picture right here is a picture supposedly taken by the Mars Land Rover that was on Mars. 
but in the picture there looks like to be like a rodent of some sort. Hmm. These photos right here, supposedly this is um, a picture that the land uh, Mars rover took. But if you look at the unedited version, it's a picture of somewhere in the desert in Chile, supposedly. Um, but let's get back into this fake moon landing. Oh yeah, I just want to point out that, again, you don't have a real photo of our planet Earth. Not one real photo. All the photos are CGI. So here is all the photos that NASA took of the Earth from 1967 to 2015. And here is the most recent photo of the Earth that I got from NASA's website. I mean, you would think that if we can take photos of, you know, galaxy millions of miles away, we can have a real photo of Earth. I mean, why not turn the camera around and just take a photo of the Earth? Or is it not that simple? And I know a lot of people are probably wondering, well, why would the government lie? Why would they be lying to us? Why would NASA lie? Well, guys, I hate to break it to you, but the government been lying to us since the beginning of time. I'm sorry, I know you don't want to hear it, but they would literally steal your babies to cover up the truth. I mean, NASA literally means in Hebrew to deceive. Take a look. Yeah. And also, um, NASA has openly admitted that we can't get past Earth's lower orbit, aka the Van Allen belt, aka the dome, the firmament, Okay, so for those who don't know what the Van Allen belts are, there are a highly magnetic radiation um, belt that covers the lower Earth's atmosphere that we supposedly never broken through to before. Still don't believe you live under a dome? Well, I'm just gonna set this video right here. Like I've always been saying, question everything.